so. Yeah. Do yeah. it on your other nose. Your, okay, yeah. My other nose. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Other side. Out of all the noses I have. Deep, okay. Deep breath. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> just a way to make it less painful. <laughs> I know, I mean, it's such an intense. It, um, <sighs> procaine is a, it's an anesthetic, and it, I mean, it does numb a little bit, but what it's really doing is bringing blood flow and lymphatic flow so things can start to move. Yeah. So a lot of what makes people not feel good when they do good treatment is their lymph isn't moving. So and like all lymph, this treatment I'm doing, like all the toxins are just staying there? And they're not like moving, they're not detoxing, they're, not they're staying out. in one place. Yeah. yeah. So that's like the point. And that's a big thing that people don't think about is just like, oh, I'm doing this treatment, I'm doing this. And then it's like, you know, and then like, I'm feeling worse. I'm feeling so I'm definitely detoxing. I can't, I can't even really breathe. And I'm pretty sure the glutathione, I'm just detoxing super hard. But at least I have my baby. There he is. Hey guys, I have Batman and Robin here. I'm not sure how long Robin will be here because she's literally just standing. Let me see if I can show you. <laughs> she's just... Yeah, so there's enough of that. So anyway, this is my first week of pre-treatment before stem cells. I have about another week and a half to go and there are a lot of people that go to other clinics and they do about 10 days of pre-treatment. I'm stretching mine out a little bit more because I am not doing all the pre-treatment in one place. And so I'm traveling from place to place and it's taking me a bit longer and I need to really do what I can handle and what I, what's practical and what I have time for. And as you can see, I'm in a bit of a different location. There's been a lot of stuff going on, remediating the home. Um, I haven't been able to really make a video in a while because I've been doing a lot of traveling uh, while people have been working here. So it's it's been really, uh, really rough, but it's been good because I've been able to see that I was having a reaction in the home and I wasn't having a reaction in these other places. So with that being said, I do want to talk about specifically what I've been doing for pre-treatment and you'll see the videos that I did. Uh, some of the videos are going to be in a different video than here because some of them are uh, like five minutes long on neural therapy, for example, but I, am, I did put little snips here. So uh, I, I do have my phone in front of me because it's really hard for me to remember what I did day by day so I am going to be looking at my phone to go over it and so the first day I did direct IV ozone and I also did nasal ozone which there's a few different kinds of nasal ozone uh, there's one that you use olive oil and you can breathe it in and inhale it and it's safe that way uh, otherwise you're not supposed to directly inhale ozone because it can kind of kill you after a while <laughs> but when it's mixed with uh, olive oil then you can do it and uh, what I did is shoot it straight up into my nose and then blow it out really quick so it hit my sinuses and it blew it out and that day so that was my first day I, I also did um, a mix of glutathione selenium and magnesium and that was probably the hardest day and night. And it's really hard to tell if it was the glutathione detoxing my body or if it was the ozone clearing out my sinuses. But I went through about two rolls of toilet paper blowing my nose that night and I definitely felt like I was getting sick 
which has actually been really common with this this whole experience. And almost every day I've been feeling like, okay, I'm waking up with bronchitis and then it goes away. And uh, it's just, it's been hard to tell like if I'm getting sick or if I'm just detoxing. And so far I think I'm just detoxing. So that first day was really, really rough as you can see in the videos that uh, I've posted. So that was day number one. Uh, I also put castor oil on my on my liver to try to detox as well. And then the next day, I did the Novo Thor laser bed. And uh, the the lasers they they do have some interesting studies on how lasers do affect stem cells. So I will put that in the description. Uh, as far as a lot of these pre treatments, a lot of them logically makes sense why and how they work and why it would be good be before stem cells, but I couldn't really find studies on anything, on any of these therapies other than the laser. So I did know that it was important to incorporate that. So I did do the laser and I also did a high dose of vitamin C and uh, some magnesium and I guess that was that was it for <laughs> for my IVs and uh, and then I also started doing some ozone oil so I'm trying to like constantly have ozone in me and then the next day uh, so this is day three I did a massage with an with an emphasis on trigger points and myofascial release and so that was really good I ended up pur purchasing a package of uh, massages because I realized how much I actually need it. And I also did the hazmat method using ozone that day. So I wear a hazmat suit and absorb oil through, uh, not oil, ozone through my skin. And I also finally bought a dry brush to do that. So I like brushed my skin and then absor I absorbed more that way. So day four, I... <laughs> That's right. Day four, I was too sick to do anything, and I think it was also a weekend, so I did not do much. Except I, I did do one thing. I got I did a ear insufflation of ozone, and then day five, I did another ear insufflation. I think it was the weekend, so everywhere was mostly closed. I couldn't get any IVs, so I did an ear insufflation, and I did another massage with an emphasis on trigger points and uh, lymph drainage. And then day six, which was yesterday, I did the handheld laser, which was uh, re really interesting. The first time I did the laser bed, this time I did the handheld laser. Uh, the handheld laser and the regular laser bed is very good for lymph drainage and also creating new stem cells. And so also that day, I did neuroaminos and I did a detox shot of glutathione, magnesium, and selenium. And I also did neural therapy because I was getting really congested and we were afraid that these treatments were just like that the toxins were just building up and not going anywhere. You can see how fun the neural therapy was. So <laughs> that that was that was it for week one. So we will continue uh, this next week. I did want to briefly discuss my friend Azaday's GoFundMe. She is a good friend of mine and she stayed with me a few weeks ago and it was very hard to see someone in that much pain and as much chronic pain I have been in. Hers is not even comparable and even with the amount of pain she was in, she was still trying to take care of me because that's the kind of person that she is. So she is so deserving like the rest of us for good treatment and she was just handed a very, very hard deck in life, and she's trying to make the best of it, but it's at the point where she's honestly living minute to minute right now in her car in the hot sun, uh, and she, she really needs shelter, and she needs food, and she needs treatment, 
very sweet and kind, kind person. And she was a musician and an artist. And right now she is just trying to stay alive. So if you can donate, that is completely amazing. And we are incredibly grateful. If you can't donate, we definitely understand. And if you share, you never know what a share can do. So I will put a link to her GoFundMe in the description. And I really hope that she gets some help. I've uh, really tried to spend a lot of time on this GoFundMe while doing pre-treatment. So I've had a really rough time with pre-treatment and for me to be spending time on anything else, it's very, very important to me. So it's important to both of us. So I'm looking forward to sharing other GoFundMes and I hope that we can help her out. Okay, bye.